friends in my house. <laughs> my son's four years old. All he wants at the dollar store is guns. <laughs> I can shop for a half an hour. As long as he doesn't get abducted, it's all good. Because <laughs> I know exactly where he's in. Uh, the wall of guns. Anyways, uh, just give me a second here. I'm old. <laughs> Born again virgin. <laughs> Praise God, hallelujah. <laughs> yes, I wear this t shirt with pride. Yes, I, I do. I do wear this t shirt with pride. But what I realize now, being a born again virgin, is that men, they're more attracted to me. It's like all of a sudden, it's like I'm at the bar. The guy says to me, so, where's your boyfriend? I said, I'm a born-again virgin. He's like, what kind of shooter you want? <laughs> <laughs> That's like free drinks, people. <laughs> free drinks. <laughs> free drinks. I have a line that's coming out in the summer. I have t-shirts, I have buttons, small ones, big ones, <laughs> dresses. Yes, I even have a journal book for girls that are frustrated as a born-again virgin. And it came to a point that, uh, as I'm in this religion, praise God, hallelujah, for my vagina, um, <laughs> I, uh, I start coming up with names for my vagina. So men, if you have a name for your penis, clap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I probably, I probably met you. <laughs> I'm not a hoe no more. I'm not a hoe no more. <laughs> So now my vagina's name is Mission Impossible. <laughs> it's a grenade. <laughs> that shit would explode. <laughs> my second name for my vagina is Da Vinci Code. <laughs> you figure this shit out. I never could have. <laughs> my third name is Good Luck Chuck. <laughs> and my friend said to me, why good luck Chuck? And I said, because I'm part Irish. <laughs> no one ever believes that I'm Irish. My father has part Irish in him, and I celebrate St. Patty's Day, and they just look at me like I'm crazy drinking green beer. And I say, I'm Irish. And then somebody said, well, what part of you is Irish? I said, the drinking part. <laughs> You can have the gold one, you can have the, the VIP, that's only for a day. 
<laughs> the Google Pass is for a week. I am like the monster, the tornado, the orbit, <laughs> the boomerang, the Goliath, <laughs> and which is vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes. so, if you get the day pass, you're lucky. If you get the week pass, you're really lucky. <laughs> So back to my seventh name of my vagina, because it just keeps on going up. You know, it's like every three to six months I breed it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's 649, you don't need the extra. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite book was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> this is the golden ticket, baby. <laughs> but you have to really decode the vagina pin. You understand to get this golden ticket. You're lucky. You're lucky if you get this. This is this is small right now. But by the, the next six months is probably gonna be bigger. <laughs> now I met a guy. I met a guy. I always say, you know, like everybody reads my hat when I go to the bar, size doesn't matter. They don't really believe I'm a born again virgin. I wear a purity ring. Yeah, I do. I do. I always tell my friends where I go get my coffee, when my ring gets bigger, that means I'm having sex. Okay? No, no, seriously. No. I'm not even joking. I'm like, I'm like, I want three creams and three sugars. Yeah. So, uh, I met a guy, and uh, I used to be a bartender before, you know, I used to be a bartender and it's like, I always meet all different kind of people having different kind of problems. And I was smoking a cigarette outside of my <coughs> bar, and uh, he asked me for a cigarette, and I said, sure, no problem. I said, what's your favorite restaurant? He said, well, I have a few. I said, I'm looking to go to a restaurant with my friend tonight. You know, what's your favorite? He says, this place, this, that, that, that. I said, okay. I said, you really have nice eyes. And he said, thank you. Anyways, he started telling me, oh, I'm sorry to ask you for a cigarette. You know, I'm like down on my luck. I lost my job. It turned into a country song. <laughs> I lost my job. I lost my girlfriend. She cheated on me. You understand? I went to the food bank. I'm riding a bike because they, when my girlfriend cheated on me, I got so drunk, I drove my car and I got caught by the police. And now I am riding a bike. I said, oh shit. I said, you sound like you need a beer. I said, shit. I bring him into the bar. I say to my friend, Roxy, Roxy, get him a beer. He needs a beer. He started continuing talking about how heartbroken he is. You know, he did everything for this girlfriend. You know, he took her to Mexico for two weeks. He bought her things. And now he has no money. She's gone. <laughs> I say, shit, yeah, I understand that. Okay. I said, you know, he says, all they have is 50 cents. <laughs> My son has more money than that. <laughs> and it's and his piggy bag. But I'm like, okay. You know, I'm like, okay, yeah, 50 cents. And he says to me, I just want to say thank you for that compliment that you gave me. Because, you know, it's been a long time. Nobody has complimented me. I said, well, you have beautiful eyes. And then he says to me, uh, well, you're a pretty girl. Where's your boyfriend? I said, I'm a born-again virgin. He says, I can help you with that. <laughs> Yeah. 
He says, my girlfriend said I gave her multiple orgasms. I'm like, listen, for 50 cents, it's not even a scratch and sniff. <laughs> Enter. <laughs> Caution, because you might get hooked. <laughs> <laughs> 